Welcome back. We are uh, in December now. It just stopped snowing. Of course, uh, you don't see that, but it just stopped snowing so I can start getting some stuff done. Just buying the animals I need to buy for the next day. So this is our last sheep we're buying. Uh, now, from now on, they will be reproducing two sheep per day every single day. So I made sure that I bought one every single day for five months. So this one will have a baby tomorrow. This one is a couple months away. That one's two months away, four months away, you know, so on and so forth. So they all go up. So 12 months, 10 months, 11 months, and eight months, and nine months. So we're good there. Chickens just gave birth again. So there's new chickens here. Not too bad. And we started our cows. So our cows are uh, slowly getting there. Right now, we have only six cows, uh, two per month that we got going. So it'll take about 10 months for them to reproduce. So after I buy 10 sets, I'll stop. And then it'll just be reproducing every month. Now, I have made a lot of total mixed rations. So we picked up a couple uh, jobs, mowing jobs that were for our fermenting silo. Our fermenting silo is doing fantastic. Probably the best thing on our farm. Right now we're still processing what I did yesterday. I did two jobs yesterday. One job gave me about 200 liters of hay. The other job gave me about another 50. So nothing crazy, 200 was nice. Um, I made another 100,000 liters of total mixed ration. So I have that on the side, just in case when I need to fill these guys up. But for right now, these guys are good. I'll clamp that manure in a little bit. For right now, these guys are looking good. They're healthy. Go back down to animals. So we got Angus cows, beef cattle. I do want to add straw because I'm not sure if that actually matters in this. Uh, I know for the dairy breeds, it does matter. So to be safe, I'm going to add it. But right now, we have no straw. So I can't really do that at the moment. But it looks like they're doing good. They're already worth more than I bought them for. So technically, I could sell them right now and they'd be perfectly fine. Uh, we'd make a profit. But I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to let them grow up. Let, uh, let us get a reproduction going. And I'll sell off any that are either old or just not reproducing anymore. You know, get those going. So these guys are just hanging out here. But now that it stopped snowing here, middle of December, as I said, you guys probably see me about three months ago. So it's been a little while on the farm. We lost a lot of money. I bought some equipment. I'll show that off in a little bit. Um... Also had some technical issues on my end. Uh, if you've watched any of the videos on the channel, the last couple, um, yeah, I had some audio issues. If you didn't tell, if you couldn't tell, yeah, it was uh, painful. I uh, went ahead and recorded about six videos in one day, just mod reviews. Um, mostly production mods, stuff like that. And I did that only because I knew I had family coming in town. If I had family coming in town about two weeks ago, they came down and then uh, one of my friends from the military came down and spent a week with us. So I knew he was coming. So I planned ahead and recorded six videos. I didn't listen to the audio. I just recorded them one after another. Um, I had them all set up so it was nice and easy for me. Um, yeah, and then I listened to them. And the audio was horrible. It sounded like I was a robot the entire time. Two of them I salvaged. Uh, the other, what, four were so bad I, I couldn't even edit it to make it work. Um, I spent about six hours on both of those videos that did come out just getting it to an okay level. I wasn't still happy with the quality of the audio, but I spent a long time on those videos, and then I spent even longer trying to fix the audio problems. 
which it took me about a week or two to fix the audio problems. I went through every setting, every single one that I could think of, every, my mic, I tried a different mic, tried a headset, tried everything. Still having the issue. I was very confused at what was happening. And come to find out, I forgot I bought a fan for the room because uh, it got a little cold in here a couple days. So I went and bought a little heater fan. It was like a little tower uh, and I put it on the other side of the room. It's kind of like behind me, but pretty far behind me where the wind wouldn't hit the, uh, the wind wouldn't hit the mic. So I figured it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. I was wrong. It was absolutely the issue. I shut it off. Everything went back to normal. But of course, I changed all my settings. So then it took me another day just to go back and reset everything that I had set up. So yeah, it's been an ordeal. So that's why the last couple weeks only had uh, like one or two videos, one video a week last week. I'm recording this on the same day that the episode two for this comes out. So I uploaded that last night, set it up for this morning, and so I could have time to record this. Yeah, a lot has happened in two weeks. It's good to be back though. I haven't actually played anything in two weeks, so it's nice just jumping back on here. Um, I did play through one day because I wanted to get this harvest done. I wanted to record the harvest and getting uh, all of our stuff sold. I want to get that silage sold as well. We shouldn't need any more total mixed rations for a little while since I have about 100,000 in the actual pen and another 100,000 in storage. So we really don't need any more for a little while anyways. Because it's not FS19 where as you add animals the amount of food you need goes up it's not uh it's not like that 22 it just gives you the quantity that you can put in there to fill up the entire pet so it makes my life a little bit easier i know i need a hundred thousand liters to fill the whole pen up quite or at least once so i think it was 120,000 liters but give or take um, that should be fine to have for now so the rest of the silage will be sold. And I want to get that done today. We'll hire a worker. We can look at what we got in stock. There are a couple uh, different things you'll see on my screen. Tomato sauce, mixed salad, uh, popcorn, strawberry ice cream pallets. That is a mod that came out not too long ago. Uh, it's a production pack mod, I think it was. I can find it real quick. We go under factories. I haven't done any videos on this, but I wanted to kind of show it off because it is an interesting idea and I, I'm intrigued. Might try some of it, might not, not 100%. Uh, mixed, no, 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 no. Down here somewhere. All right, so this guy, Farm Production Stone. Uh, it does a lot of the productions in one building. You can pretty much bring almost everything here and it will do a lot of them. Looks like it even does planks. That's interesting. Um, and then there's the barn version. There's a barn version medium. The alpine style. Plaster. Uh, small stone. Which will do less crops, but it looks like all these do the same. All these main ones, the barns, medium style, the alpine ones, all do the same. But the small one only does less it does a little bit of less stuff um yeah there's there's a million so if you if you want to check this out you want to do that there's dairy productions fruit productions oil production cereals it just gives you a different thing and you can do it in small style so that it fits your farm better but up to you i just kind of want to take a look at it oh i'm gonna need a trailer let me run down and grab my trailer so uh, I'll show you guys what I also bought for the farm just so that we had kind of everything we needed. We needed a couple grass things. So we already had our tether. Um, I haven't actually even used it because I've been using 
the items that come with the jobs. Um, so I really haven't had to use it. But I did buy this trailer. Now this trailer can get converted to an animal trailer. So I figured when we do sell our animals off, uh, we'll have a trailer for that and we won't have to deal with any fees. Uh, especially when we're doing beef cattle, we're going to need that. I bought a loading wagon, smallest one, like 30,000, and a wind rower. I believe I bought, you might have seen that one. I'm not 100% sure on that, but bought a wind rower at one point. So little things to do some grass work. I know we don't have much grass, but this is, uh, it's nice to have a mower, wind rower. Even if I wanted to do grass, I could tet it and pick it all up. I just got sick of leasing stuff. So we do have a little bit of grass. I think we have 11,000 liters of grass in the silo. And that silo holds mostly everything. So it's pretty good. I have a uh, manure in there. I put in there from the cows. I put all our seed fertilizer, all that stuff's now in our silo. So that's all taken care of. So as you can see, I'll stop real quick. Um, I don't have any hay straw. I got our lime in here. Manure, as I said. A little bit of fertilizer we don't really have much crops at the moment um, a little bit of seed we have a thousand or hundred thousand a little over total mixed ration so we're for cows we're good don't have to worry about cows for a little while i'm gonna keep buying them um, every day for 10 months um, i bought some this morning so shouldn't have an issue there now i did not drive down and go pick up the cows i'm only gonna do that probably with selling um, just because it's quicker just to do it at the farm, especially when I'm doing it every single day. Uh, it just takes up too much time to go sell. But when I sell them, I might sell, you know, I might do 10 at a time, who knows? But at least that'll give us something. Now this sorghum is gonna be put in our silo for our chickens. I don't know how much I'm really gonna need. I might sell some of it. I'm not 100% on that. But, at least our chickens will be taken care of. Let's pull that guy up so he stops unloading. So, our uh, chickens will be taken care of by this. And then I was hoping that we had enough money to buy a new field. Because that's the big thing. We just don't have enough fields at the moment. Right now, I could cut all this grass, but I'm not too worried about it because we have so many jobs going for this thing. It's fermenting silo, which is amazing if we go down to jobs right now scroll up to that's cultivating harvesting oh wow. all the multi, all the uh grass jobs went away there was about seven grass jobs sitting there but now that it's winter and it's december there's not going to be as many so maybe i'll do uh plowing jobs i have my own plow so that shouldn't be bad Ooh, cotton jobs do pay out a good amount of money potatoes that's not a bad option Sugar beet. Hmm. I don't know. I'll look into that. I want to get our fields taken care of. I'm going to go grab our other tractor, get our mower set up, uh, get that started while the harvester's doing his own thing. But yeah, honestly, it's uh, been going good for the most part. Money doesn't seem it, but we are uh, we're getting there. Let's back this guy up. Let's go back all the way up. We're gonna need to fertilize again, recultivate. Uh, so I do have the cultivator still because obviously our fields are not gonna need to be plowed every time. So cultivator will do the work for the most part. We don't have a direct drill. Uh, eventually we will end up with one, hopefully. Ooh, actually, let's see. Let's fold this guy up. Let's see what is on today's deals. Ooh, a different mower, 20 grand. That's pretty much all of our money. But there is a nice big uh, loading wagon, which we have. So I'm not too worried about that. Our loading wagon only holds, I think, I don't know, 14,000 liters or something. This one holds 32, or th almost 33. Is it really worth it for our field? No. But once we get a little further, maybe we'll look into one. Um, we don't really need a conveyor. And that's a tank for herbicide. Don't need that at the moment because we have to have the tractor that goes along with that. So we don't need that. 
was hoping for a nice tractor. There was one yesterday, uh, but it was only uh, like 100 horsepower. Small little tractor. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I need a weight for this. Where is my weight? That is a good question. I lose weights like it's my job. So let's find this the guy. Uh, it's probably over near maybe the plow. I know there is the attachment there. Left that kind of in the front. There's a weight. I don't need this attachment though. So let's see if I can sneak around here. Pick up the weight and sneak back around. All right, beautiful. So grass will be good get that i'm gonna stockpile a bunch of grass just for the sheep um, because they're gonna eat more as we get more and now that they're gonna be producing every single day without me having to worry about them they're gonna be needing more and more food as we go along there we go that's all set now how's my uh harvester doing doing good he does not like the hills eventually we're gonna have to upgrade that horsepower it does go higher but at the moment, we don't have the money to bring it higher. So, let's start down here. Let's get a head lens done just so this guy can uh, work on his own. Beautiful. So, DLC for Farming Simulator comes out in two days. Recording this on the 20th, so two days we're gonna have the uh, the uh, little guy, little guy DLC. Uh, all the small tractors, all that thing. This tree is really annoying. I wonder if I own that land where I can cut that tree. Um, yeah, we're getting all the little guys for grape harvesting and all that stuff, which is great. We do need some more for that. Am I excited for it? No, not at all. That is, uh, grape harvesting is not something, uh, really does anything for me. Uh, good that it's added to the game, but, uh, I did enough olive harvest or grape harvesting and stuff in 22 or in 19 when maps were able to have that. Uh, there was only like one or two that were able to have it, but yeah. I did a fair share of it, and uh, great that we got more equipment for it, but uh, yeah, I honestly couldn't care less. It would be great if they added the small tractors and some cedars and stuff that work at a lower horsepower. It's the one thing FS19 had that 20 doesn't, or 22 doesn't. The horsepower requirements for cedars, cultivators, all that stuff, you're not going to be able to use the small horsepower tractors anymore. We look in here. Uh, let's go to cedars where we got our first cedars. Right here. First cedar, 125 horsepower. You might think that's not that bad. In 19, we had some that did 50 horsepower, which means modded tractors, little guys. I mean, this one is 68 horsepower, 70, 75, some can go up, but when you get some modded ones come in here, I don't know if I have any installed at the moment. Um, no, I do not. But there's some small ones out there that, you know, have 20 horsepower. And there was one this week that came out that came with its own tools. So that works out. That's no problem. Love that. So people that want to start with a small farm, um, yeah, you can't in FS22. He's still going, jump out, see how he's doing. Um, you really can't. And that's sad because uh, I really love starting a farm with the smallest equipment I can, doing my fields, upgrading, love that stuff. But unfortunately, 22 didn't make it as easy as 19 did. It's fine. There are some cedars that have come out that will work off slow horsepower or low horsepower, I should say. So really, is it that big of an issue? No, but it would have been nice to have. So the equipment that's coming with the DLC, 
great for olives and uh, great for grapes, but at the end of the day, that's all it's going to be good for. Nothing special about it. So, it is what it is. But I uh, I got the season pass in the beginning. Didn't care. I was getting it no matter what. Uh, and they, I like that they're doing the fact sheets. Some of the uh, tractors look great. They honestly look really cool. I believe it was uh, DJ and Driver53 that did a video on just test driving all the vehicles and stuff. Um, all of them looked cool. Not going to lie. Um, and they are pulling some crazy stuff. But uh, yeah, it looks cool. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to the vehicles. What they can actually do and provide to a normal farm that's not doing grapes. Well, that's absolutely nothing pretty much. So, not my favorite DLC, but it is what it is. Um, I'm just kind of jumping around, seeing what else I need to get done. Don't mind me. I, uh, I jump around in my free time, so it is what it is. But yeah, farm's doing good, not gonna lie. Well, let's see if we can get a contract or something. I kind of want to do those plowing jobs. We can get a couple plowing jobs done. Uh, that'll be nice. And we have our own equipment, so we don't really need to do much. And then we can use the other tractors to go sell all the silage and stuff. Make us a little bit of money while one takes care of a couple jobs. I think I need to use the... Uh, that guy over there for the plowing because I don't think this class has enough horsepower if I remember correctly actually I'll leave that guy there we'll jump in this guy finish off the field I got a little to clean up up top and then we'll go sell all right plowing getting done just had to help him uh, figure out what he even is doing his uh, workers are always so useful when they actually have no clue what they're doing. Anyways. Field over there is getting done. Just across the street from the farm. Field 2 is getting done. Uh, field 1 has been cut, harvest, or, uh, cut, wind road, and picked up. We made about 20,000 liters off of that. Um, so that's good. Uh, that's just for the sheep alone. Come on. Uh, it really does not like this. But... Let's see what we can do here. If you haven't used this mod, this is the original like 6M from 19. You detach it. And you spin your guy all the way around. And you go the way you absolutely shouldn't. It'll still work. Because it does work in reverse, technically. That's the only way this works. The only thing is workers will not use it but you need a lot less horsepower to drive now it's still on a hill so it's still going to take some a uh, little bit of giddy up once it gets going yeah you're running at 11 miles per hour not too bad the initial startup always stinks in this tractor just because of the uh transmission it has so or the gear shift it has let's uh sweep around this tree and we'll clean up his mess. Yep, yeah, so we got 20,000 liters of grass, which is great. That'll feed the uh, sheep for a long time. Sheep don't eat anything, so I think their, their pen only holds like 7,000 liters. And they really haven't eaten much of that. Oh, straight away, I can take a look. Oh, no, it holds a, a bit 10. But we already had some in the silo, so I think we had another 10,000 liters in the silo. So we got about 30,000. That'll feed them for a while. Um, we can turn the rest into silage and sell that off. I filled the trailer um, with, the, with silage that was in the fermenting silo. So we'll go ahead and sell that in a minute. Once I get these two jobs out of the way, or get uh, that cultivating job, or cultivating the field done, we can start seeding. I think I'm going to do uh, oats this time. I want to get a good amount of straw for, you know, just having for total mixed ration and for having for the cows. So we'll get that going.
do some oats. Oats only take four months. So same as sorghum. Those are going to be your quickest crops when it comes to your grains. Um, majority of them take a long time. I actually had to write down what each one was to remember. But, you know, your wheat's 10 months. So wheat takes a long time to actually grow just to get, you know, a little, like, product. You get a lot of wheat, but it doesn't sell for much. And you get straw. But if I can get straw from oats, it only takes four months. That's much easier. And uh, tests were done that the same field with oats, barley, or uh, wheat give you roughly about the same amount of straw. It's a little different. There's minor amounts, but uh, yeah, it really does not matter. So I'm going to go with oats because yeah, it sells for the best out of those three and you get more, more money for the actual crop. So it would be crazy not to. So oats will get planted in that field. If we own another field, I might do sorghum again because it is nice to have grow that and uh, sell that off. Or if we get a nice big field, uh, maybe some soybean. Get some soybean in the ground. Soybean does take a while. It takes six months instead of four. So it, does, it takes a little bit longer. Right, this field is completely done. So we can go into here. That's completed. 41 is our next one. Where is 41? All the way down. All right, well, I'm gonna save you guys the drive. I'm going to continue doing some uh, little jobs here and there, getting our fields done. And I'll see you guys when we go ahead and start selling our uh, our silage. All right, plowing's all set. We should be uh, good to go selling some product. Cultivating is still going on. That'll be a while. It's a small cultivator. Eventually, we're going to have to upgrade that cultivator. Uh, get a bigger one just so that we can you know, get things done a little quicker. Thought about buying one of these fields, but... Some of these are actually wraparounds. Like I think this one wraps around all these trees. We did cut the trees and plow it out. It might be a nice sized field. I think it's pretty expensive. So we need to build up some uh, some money right now. Uh, we're not looking too bad. We could always take out a loan if we really wanted to. Uh, but I'm trying to avoid loans for the most part. If a vehicle comes out that we really want, maybe. Uh, where is biogas? To my right. right there and uh if we want to buy you know a business or something that'll be something we'll uh we'll probably take a loan out for but when we can do jobs we can get stuff done we're making a crap ton of silage um yeah we're gonna be able to make a pretty penny so we might not make crazy amounts off this run but over time we're gonna make a lot i think you can just yeah you can just dump right here beautiful And oh, it goes up automatically. Some take an hour or take take to the final the next hour. I know when you own the business, it's every hour, but this should get paid right away, which is nice. All right, seven and a half grand. I'm fine with that. That's good for one load. We got a bunch, so it's going to be a process going back and forth, but that's okay. We don't got a huge trailer. Uh, there is a seventy thousand liter trailer that I've been looking at. Uh, that's one of my favorite trailers from 19 but we need more horsepower in order to use that so eventually when we get bigger tractors we will uh we'll have an opportunity to use that stuff but right now i'm happy with what we got gets us by nothing crazy once we get another field get a little more income coming in we'll uh we'll definitely be able to afford some more stuff some more toys All right, last load of silage heading out. I continued to sell silage all night. Got through all, I think it ended up being 150,000 liters, if not more. Uh, the biogas plant, the bin for the biogas plant is only about 40,000 liters. So I've been having to run all the way to the animal dealer just to continue the process. Uh, it does sell better at the biogas plant right now, but I just filled it. So there's no way that's gonna be done for another I don't know, four hours. So we have to sell at the animal dealer, which is fine. We're almost, we're gonna break a hundred grand. 
with this load right here so not bad not bad a couple jobs getting our silage good and uh yeah making a pretty penny so we're gonna we're gonna buy a field i think um, i switched over to this tractor because it's just a hair faster the other one only goes 26 this one goes 32 it's got less horsepower so hills are bad bad for it but it works um but yeah I'm really realizing that my tractors are a little underpowered and slow, especially the uh, the other guy. The blue one is uh, definitely the Valtra. 26, it gets old kind of quick. So I'm looking to upgrade my tractors, but we need a field first to help pay for everything. I'm going to throw some uh, our existing field right now when we just cultivated. I'm going to go ahead and put... Um, I think oats in it. Oats has got the best price. It's actually more than sorghum right now, uh, or more than sorghum and soybean right now, which is very odd. Uh, but I'm gonna put oats in, get some straw in their new field. We'll see what uh what we can afford here in a second. Yep, just over a hundred grand, maybe a hundred and five, somewhere around there. That'll give us a good uh, opportunity to buy some bigger fields. Yep, 105. Let's take a look while we're right here. I want something close to the farm. There is this guy. And we could clear out that little bit of land here and work with that. That one is what? 72. Or we get this big guy. No, that's 118. That's 90. That's not bad. We'd have to get access to it from the side over here. Don't think there is. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna jump there. So don't mind me. Um, I'm gonna jump here. All right. So what field is this? This is field four. So we could access it right off of our farm. Good sized field. It's got that little overhang over here. But I might want to maybe level that out. It's kind of slanted. I don't know. Kind of looking around right now there is a bunch of small fields like this guy here oh that comes with the feet the forest as well what about this one 45 54 i mean you know both of those hmm no i'm really debating if we go eight and just make it bigger i don't know there is a couple over here that one's not far away i think this one's gonna be way out of our price range yet all those have hills I know eight's not bad for hilling or for hilly area. Maybe we'll go with eight. I think eight will work. We'll clear out some trees, plow that out, and get that uh, to what we need. But what is it right now? Potatoes? Is that what I'm reading? Um, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, it's potatoes right now. Is it harvested potatoes? It's growing potatoes. I don't want to have to deal with potatoes. What is this? This is cultivated. Nothing's in it at the moment. All right, pulling the trigger. 90 grand. We're buying it. All right. We got a new field. It's about the same size as number two, but that's good. We're down to uh, 14,000 again. That's all right. With planting and everything, getting some stuff done. I'm going to probably put some sorghum in that because sorghum grows the fastest. And if you actually average it out, I think soybean outbeats it by how much it makes, but it's not by much. And if I can grow it three times in a year versus twice in a year, um, yeah, I'm going to go sorghum. It's the easiest thing. And if I need it, I can feed it to my chickens. So that's what's going to be going on here. But I think that's going to do it for now. We've got a field, We've got a big uh, silage selling point. We did and uh, got some, got some harvesting done. So we're looking good. Money's low right now, but we'll get her up. But I do appreciate you guys watching. If you did like the video, leave a like. It definitely helps out the channel. It gets it shown to more people, so I appreciate it. But anyways, have a good one.